Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 2002. And in this episode of our season as Dale Jr. and his number 8 Budweiser Chevrolet, we're going to be running the 17th race of this 31 race season, which will be at the New Hampshire International Speedway, which is actually now known as New Hampshire Motor Speedway, I guess because it's owned by SMI. They always do that. Last episode, we raced at Daytona for the night race, and we finished third, and we kept on losing the draft, trying to get up there. Bobby Labonte got away during pit stops even more than he already was, and he won the race, getting his fourth win of the season. So one more, and he'll be tied with us. We are 121 points behind him. I keep trying to, to gain points on him, but he always runs so well. It's like, that wasn't a bad run for us. That was a, a good finish, but... He's always just dominating this championship. I don't think we're winning it, but I'm going to give it my all, man. And they got Dale Jarrett behind us. He got around John Andretti recently. And John Andretti has continued to have bad finishes the past couple of races. Mark Martin still on the first page with two wins right now. And then you can look at the rest of this stuff. Do -do -do. Uh, New Hampshire in Dirt Daytona, I remember being pretty easy. I don't know if they downgraded the AI from this game or... If it's just the same AI with this one, and we have to do something to be worried about. I just remember the track having way more banking and being more narrow than it should have been in Dirt to Daytona. But let's get them their qualifying shit. Look how he, he says he doesn't say go, go, go until I get on the gas. So I could just never go. I really love <clears throat> Pepsi. I love a nice cold Pepsi. Okay, uh, Elliot Sadler is next to us. Mike Wallace, Ken Schrader, uh, the, the regular. I feel a strand of hair on the back of my head that is not doing the right thing. I can feel it jiggling. I need to take a shower after I'm done recording this. Robbie Gordon got a great finish last episode. I don't know why. I guess it just has something to do with pit stops. Anything out of the ordinary? Bobby Labonte on pole. Jeff Gordon second. There's John Andretti. Ricky Rudd actually got a good finish for once. Now I'm going to click next. There's no memory card. Click don't save. Continue without saving. Because I'm not saving the game. So I know I have game footage to edit and upload to YouTube. <laughs> this is what happens whenever you wake up and just start drinking soda. Yep. Look at all that freaking banking. And then... The, the stretch is concrete. Was New Hampshire actually like this at any point? The, the corner is, is black. There's no white stripes on it. And then the, the stretches are concrete. Oh my god, I gotta use the brakes here. And whenever you use the brakes, the, the, the car... Likes to go random directions. I think it's more whenever you get off the gas, though. Whenever you get off the gas, the car likes to start turning to the right or the left more than it already is. Whatever direction that you, you microscopically leave the analog stick in, it just heads in that direction harder whenever you get off the gas. And it's just freaky because it's, it's bad enough that you can't get the analog stick to be perfectly centered. I, I don't think there is one where you can just stop steering. I don't know how to fix that with this game. I think you can adjust the steering and the and log stick and shit, but I don't I don't think it's actually possible to stop the car from doing crap like that. Like the car is going towards the wall and I am not turning. I am literally trying not to. I'm trying to just go straight. I'm also trying to be really patient because I don't want to get stuck on the apron and spin the car around. And they're all just bunched together, so it's making it difficult to actually move forward. Can I go on the outside? No, no, let's not wreck my... I don't really have a choice. I can't go anywhere. Now I am wrecking this guy. Save yourself, Robbie Gordon. Y'all all stupid. We got some positions out of that corner. Look at it. It's turning right. I'm not... I'm trying to just go straight. 
uh, it's it's hard to decide, man. What's worse? The car just turning left because that's how they program the game in NASCAR 21, or the car turning right towards the wall in NASCAR Heat. I don't get it. I don't like it. It sucks. They both suck. Why can't the car just go straight whenever I'm not telling it to turn? That that should not be such a hard complex to understand. I don't care whether it's realistic or not. Fuck it. Make the car go straight whenever I'm not telling it to turn. Uh, I'm trying to do things on the outside because there seems to be the most room there. But whenever I try to, I just... My car kind of gravitates towards the groove. I'm in the wall. Trying to avoid Elliot Sadler. Come on. Okay, they're not double side-by-side -side file. <laughs> Whatever you call that shit right now. So that makes it easier. Typically, the groove is two cars wide, which is terrible. I mean, in reality, we have two grooves at New Hampshire now, and they're rather far apart. And then back in the day, I think it was still just one groove track, basically a short track, but you carry a lot more speed to it. They didn't have this much banking, I swear to God. Crazy, this track had so many other games, and it did not have this much banking. This is like at least an extra five degrees, right? But we're up to 15th. There's Tony Stewart. Bobby Labonte. Oh my god. Bobby Labonte is, is 12th? What happened? I mean, I wouldn't change anything, but what the fuck happened to this guy? He started first. He's 12th. Well, we're going to have ourselves a good point today. I don't care if I, I win or anything. I never really care if I win, to be honest. I'm, I'm just all about finishing in front of him right now. That's really what the championship is coming down to. I'm positive Dale Jarrett's in front of Bobby Bonnie, so if I don't get to Dale Jarrett, then he can gain points on both of us, actually making it uh, a free car battle. Uh, it's, we're so far behind Bobby Bonnie, and then Dale Jarrett is even more, so I think we're just going to close the gap a little bit, if anything, today. Okay, well, we're here. But <laughs> Once I, I get into like a certain speed or, or groove on the track, the car does not go back down. It gets stuck there, and I kind of have to take the corner from that position. And basically, if I lose the very inside line, the car will will not go back down to it. it, it it's like, the, the, I have a lack in front and grip, but not so much that I just can't turn. It's weird. I mean, this looks like rather a fresh pavement, that once you get into the groove, you'll be able to stay in it, but no. The car can lose it so easily. There ain't no resin. There's no uh, the racing lotion. What do they call that stuff? I don't remember what they used to call it, but now we got resin. Was, was it C4? Did they put an explosive on the bottom of the track? It was something like that. It had a, I think it had a number in it or whatever. Oh, God. What the? I'm checking up for Kurt Busch. I'm about to wreck this thing. I'm trying... Look at, I'm just running out of front grip like crazy. Look at my tires. The right front is a little bit in the yellow, but I don't think that's excusable. Okay, let's get underneath Kurt. And slow down enough for this car to start arcing it back down. I think it's doing the right thing right now for if I'm by myself. But whenever I'm next to a car and the car wants to go up the track, I can't. There's a car there. It's almost like I have to put more effort to drive the car whenever I pass somebody. <laughs> Durr. Well, we're in the top 10. And that's not saying very much in a 24 car field, though. Or a 20 car field, or anything like that in all these games where they don't have a full field. No, I said that a lot with NASCAR Legends, that if I get a top 5, it's not like I'm actually getting a top 5. It's more like a, a top 10 in that sense, because this was just a 20 car field. Please, please get off the apron. I spent so much time not being able to turn, and then suddenly the car is damn near wrecking itself, turning onto the apron. But, yeah, in NASCAR Legends, if I finish in the top three, then that essentially is, is like the mathematics of a top five, the size of the field. I am falling back now, because this car is becoming very specific in, in what it wants for me to go through the corner. Well, anyway, we're halfway there. I'm going to try passing Ward Burton right here. 
you know I'm, I'm, I'm very much lacking in front grip. Heck, my rear tires are getting worn, so the car wants to slide into every corner. If you know the signature NASCAR heat slide into a corner, yeah, there you go. It won't turn, but it'll slide. I hate that shit. I mean, to be fair, it probably does that in most NASCAR games, but it doesn't look anything like that. It's, it's a very planted look. Coming in from the outside. I don't think I have the grip to do something like this. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't have the grip to make a pass of any kind, to be honest. I can hang in there till pit stops, which I'm surprised haven't begun yet. Because we're past the halfway point. You gotta pit at some point. Uh, gotta go from the outside. Can't get to the inside. Uh, okay, well, this is where we're gonna start falling back. I'm waiting for the damn fuel thing to pop up. Because I really just... I don't want to pit under the green flag and then someone blow a tire and be get trapped to lap down. I really don't need that right now. I'm in a good spot. Bobby Labonte's made up a couple positions recently. He's up to 10th. He's up to 9th. <laughs> that going. It's going to take him forever to get with this pack of cars. and um, all My tires are so fucking shot I can't even drive right. But I can't pit. I get trapped to lap down because of caution. Watch them throw a caution as soon as pit stops begin or some shit. It's like... I mean, I'm getting the car slowed down, but no matter how much I slow down, the rear tires still just can't handle the turn anymore. And they're not that worn. They're just in the yellow. Whenever our right front was in the yellow, it didn't do that much to us. And on the orange, yes. The rear tires are not in the orange. And I don't want to know what that's like, but I don't feel like I'm going to have a choice. We're on the 20th lap of the race. Oh, my God. Can we please start taking pit stops, game? Please? This hurts. This hurts! Okay. There they go. Oh, I was talking about. They start pitting. Caution comes out. If I pit at any point before that, that caution would have trapped me a lap down. These guys are still going into the pits, even though there's a caution. Dale Jarrett, you just threw away a good point today, because now they're going to make you start at the back at the restart. Dumb fuck. Okay. I know what I'm talking about. This fucking game. Okay, press brake to pit. You know, fill the tank, get four tires. I don't think I have that much damage. We put it in the wall a few times because of the way it slides, but... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Bobby Labonte is going to get around us, and then I'm going to pass him, which is probably for the best, because if we get the opportunity to pass him, we can, like, make him fall out of the groove and lose spots. That's a thing at a restart, you know? And he's got less chance of doing that if he doesn't have someone passing him. I said to pit, and we're not pitting. Huh? They let everybody pass me! They let every car in the field pass me! Are you seeing the shit right now? Why are we hanging back there? This game is so mean. How did she get so mean? I've seen worse. I've seen worse. I am no longer repairing damage. And... I don't need a, fuel, a full tank, but I don't think it makes a difference. I don't want this pit stop to be any longer than it needs to be. Just go in. Get your tires. Get your fuel. And we're probably going to come to this restart last, even though we do not deserve that. I was running eighth. I was running eighth. And then we got to six, those two guys that pit, even though there was a caution out. And now we're going to come to the restart like 24th. All right, here we go. 
We're not 24th. We're 19th. Because some people decide to pit like the third time around. We pit on the second time around. No one pit the first time because this game is dumb. There's Bobby Labonte up there. We have a three lap dash to the finish and I can't make my moves on the outside exactly where I want to. I've got to do something somewhere in this little amount of time we have. This is exactly what NASCAR legends do. No matter how good I performed or how good I was, it found ways to screw me and make me lose points every race. Uh, like he's right there. He does not deserve to be there in front of me. He should be behind me. I hate this crap. Yeah, two to go. I'm gonna send it on in. I'm gonna take this from Kinsit. We can get him. I know we can get him. No, don't touch that apron that much. We gotta run off, not in the wall. Labonte's passing cars. Hate this shit. Uh, Mark Martin is leading right now, I think. Uh, it was Ricky Rudd earlier. He just keeps passing cars. Oh my god, where was this earlier? One lap. He keeps passing cars. Okay, they're side by side in front of him. I'm going in. Get, get bumped. Get, get back down. Freaking Rusty Wallace. Oh shit. Jeff Burton, you motherfucker. No. No. Oh, boy. Ugh. Can you stay ahead of him, Jeff? Well, I mean, you're not going to be able to stay ahead of him if I do that to you. Just stay ahead of him. It's so hard to drive with you underneath me. Fuck, I wanted that spot. Well, we got Rusty Wallace passing, too. Well, if I got in front of Jeff Burton, we got extra points on him. But that... I couldn't. <laughs> you can't beat some guy on the bottom out of track like this if you're on the top. Not, not in just one run. <sighs> that was such a mess. That was such a big pile of action, such a big throwdown for a three-lap dash at the end of the race that I don't know who won or whatever. Dale Jarrett, he led the most laps, so that's a max point state. He and Mark Martin should not have even been up front at the final restart because they pit when there was a caution out. Pit road is closed. This, this is what I'm talking about. I just said, like NASCAR legends. The game to find some weird fucked up way to screw us over and lose positions. And give positions to people that don't deserve it. It's like they play by different rules. Terry Labonte finishing up here. Jeremy Mayfield. I mean, Jeremy Mayfield did win a race. The Coca-Cola 600, right? Ricky Rudd, I think he should have won the race. Because he was first under the caution um, while the pit stops were happening. I don't know how he, he lost the lead. He shouldn't have lost to Dale Jarrett and Mark Martin. But we got 10th and... Bobby Labonte finished 12th, and that's where he was running whenever we finally caught him at the beginning of the race. Then he got the rest of this stuff. Ward Burton did not finish well. I hate that. And uh, Joe Nemechek was the cause of that caution, by the way. I guess he just blew a tire or whatever. I can't blame him. And then we can look at the lap-by-lap lap progress. He you know, made up a couple positions at the start. Um, a few here and there throughout the laps. Then things really started to spread out, and I was just 8th for ages. And I tried passing Ward Burton. I realized that was never going to work. So I settled for eighth until pit stops happened. And then whenever pit stops happened, we fell all the way to 23rd. A few more people pit. And then we were 19th under the caution. That We went from 19th to 10th in three laps. That's just what happens whenever you got fresh tires in the field is grouped together. All right, here are the point standings after that race. We're 114 behind Bobby Labonte. We finished two positions ahead of him. So one was worth three and one was worth four. That's why it's better to finish up front because there's a, a five point interval between positions and whatever. And then you get five points for leading something and five points for leading the most laps. And I never lead the most laps, but you get my point. I don't get the, the point. I don't get the points. Because stupid shit. We should not have even been finishing back there in 10th in or whatever. I should have had contention to win the race. Or at least finish top 5, top 3. But no, that crap during pit stops that was not fair at all happened. And I think Jeff Gordon just passed John Andretti in points. Um, Jeff Gordon's only 10 ahead of him. But Dale Jarrett's in 3rd. He's 22 behind us. Mark Martin just gained a position in, in the, the standings. I think he was 6th not too long ago. And then fell back to 7th. So the 6th car is in 6th. There's Jeff Burton. Kurt Busch. Rusty Wallace is still ninth, But Ward Burton's still holding it in 10th. I want to see Ricky Rudd start moving forward though. I, I want to see Ricky Rudd start moving forward. 
because he starts so well. He just doesn't finish well all the time. Well, whatever. Later in this week, you'll see us race at Watkins Glen, New York's Thunder Road. I don't know if it still has like that nickname and whatever. But it's the 220 at the Glen. Damn, 220. I think we want on to have like longer Watkins Glen races in the future. But yeah, later in the week, I'm going to stop recording and make sure I have game footage and then save the game. See you next time. That's that and episode over.